Back in 2016, we put out a call for profile is not what you think of as someone who should run for office, right? Dejected about politics. The Back in 2016, we put out a call for nominations, trying to capture the diversity of background, of experience, of the American electorate, the people that aren't currently represented in office. We got over 10,000 nominations. Out of those 10,000 nominations, we found Alexandria. My brother told me that he had sent my nomination in the summer, but I was like literally working out of a restaurant and I was like, there's no way. Her profile is not what you think of as someone who should run for office, right? I grew up with a really politically engaged and attuned family. We always were debating politics, talking about things, but we were never involved in the formal structures of politics. We saw these signs of someone who's willing to sacrifice their own future for the good of others. I remember that evening on election day in November. I was really disappointed and really sad, but I was not shocked. She was at Standing Rock trying to figure out what her next steps are, just like a lot of people were. What do you do when someone like Trump wins? And my experience at Standing Rock was so spiritually transformative. Being there in such an acute moral struggle, you really saw how it was more important than any material thing. And so I walked out of that camp and I was like, what do I do? And then literally that day, I get this email like, this is what you do. So Izzy, one of the people that was working with us at the time, called and it was scheduled for 20, 30 minutes and it went maybe an hour and a half. Like you hadn't thought about running for office or anything at that point, right? No, no. You just knew you gotta do something. I you knew that I had something. to do something. Yeah. Uh, it's great to see you both side by side. Uh, Ms. Ocasio-Cortez, you have said it was Senator Sanders who really inspired you to enter the political race uh, in the first place. Literally that day, I get this email like, this is what you do. What is it like for you to be out there campaigning alongside him? I mean, it's, it's certainly surreal. Just uh, two, two years ago, we were both in St. Mary's Park in the South Bronx. I was in the crowd uh, with thousands of other people. We call people up and kind of walk them through the platform. We would try to call up folks that were like doing all kinds of amazing stuff, yeah. right? Every conversation would have a very awkward pitch at the end because yeah, we'd like, talk to them like, about like, yeah. oh, it's so great, you're like saving lives, you're fixing stuff in your community. And so do you want to run for Congress, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> she was like, well, would you be open entering this kind of nomination process? And and I was like, sure, because that's not a, will you run for Congress? Yeah, we felt the passion in her voice. She really wanted to fight for the big thing. My brother told me that he had sent my nomination in the summer, but I was like literally working out of a restaurant. And I was like, there's no way 